Hey neighbors, how are y'all doing today? Welcome newbies and old friends. My name is Alexis and this is my channel. Today I'm gonna to be serving you golden natural hair tips for how I went about growing my 3C 4A natural hair out. I know you guys saw that thumbnail pic and your girl has come a long way. So if you're looking like this and are striving for hair like this, Keep watching and while you're watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button that like button thank you tip number one this tip has been essential to retaining my length and that is keeping your hair stretched it's very very important especially for your kinky curly girls and my hair like I said is 3c 4a and in a lot of areas I get fairy knots and stuff like that and I can get breakage because of that so I like to keep my hair stretched as much as possible and I have noticed that it definitely cuts down a lot of uh, time in the shower for me a lot of breakage and all of that so I try to cut down shrinkage as much as possible I'm gonna grow some much faster in a stretched state well it's not even that it's growing faster it's that you're attaining the length that you are gaining instead of it breaking off tip number two keep your hair moisturized deep condition weekly maybe even twice a week feel like your hair really needs it in the winter time I definitely try to deep condition more often than I would in the summer and I typically wash my hair every probably four days I feel like five is my max but every single time that I wash I'm definitely deep conditioning, period. And you also have to listen to what your hair needs, you know? With keeping your hair moisturized, you need a very good leave-in conditioner. How to judge a good leave-in conditioner or deep conditioner is look at the ingredients. If water is not the first ingredient or in the first three ingredients, put it back. I am very adamant about using products that I can read the entire ingredient list and understand what each thing is. It's very important to use natural hair products. You know, you wanna be putting the best stuff in your hair to allow it to thrive the way you want it to. Tip number three, understand your porosity. Oh my God. I cannot stress the importance of this. You need to understand your porosity. Everybody talking about hair texture and like, my hair's 3C, my hair's, you know, 2A. Ooh, wow. Whatever it is, none of that stuff really matters. Like, cool, you know, but that doesn't really tell you a whole lot about what your hair needs from you. If you understand your porosity, then it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to understand how to take care of your hair. When I found out that my hair was low porosity, I had realized that I'd been using these products that aren't doing my hair any good. It's not allowing the moisture to get in my hair, and I am protein sensitive, and I was using a protein deep conditioner almost every time I washed. So understanding these things and being able to know how your hair reacts to things it's super important. Tip number four, protect your hair. I know everybody's heard this before, but protecting your hair doesn't necessarily mean that you have to wear braids and all of that. It's nice if you can have a protective style like that, but even a bun works where your ends are tucked away, they're not being messed with. And when I say protect your hair, I don't just mean protective styles. I mean protecting your hair while you're in the car, protecting your hair while you're sleeping, also not touching your hair as much. Those things are very important. When you are sitting in the car and your head is on the headrest and it's just rubbing against that the whole time that's going to create breakage and knots and all those things that we don't want at night it's going to be the same thing so what i like to do is put satin on everything literally everything i always wear a satin bonnet or a scarf at night and i really don't put my head on the headrest like that but if i noticed that i was i would just put one of my bonnets or something protective on the back of my headrest so that that's not happening anymore tip number five scalp massages if you want your hair to grow faster than your normal hair growth rate this is a definite way to increase that when you're giving yourself a scalp massage whether it be with your hands or with a tool of your choice always make sure to oil your scalp before so that there's less friction and you're also giving your scalp the nutrients it needs tip number six be gentle I cannot tell you how important this one is I used to just rip through my hair like I just didn't want to be in the shower that long I didn't have the proper for tools and you know being nice to your hair treating your hair like silk that is very important when you're more gentle when detangling you're going to create a lot less breakage which 
is the enemy of all natural hair. So get the proper tools. I have tried the Denman brush. I have tried the wet brushes. I've tried a regular paddle brush. I have tried the Tangle te Teaser. Yeah, Tangle Teaser. And out of all of them, the Tangle Teaser has been the most gentle and effective way to detangle my hair. And I just can't be happier with my purchase. Also, another thing to note is to take small sections. When you take smaller sections, you're allowing yourself to actually detangle your hair instead of doing the surface of your hair in a big section. It's gonna create a lot less breakage and damage, and it's a lot easier too, believe it or not, because you're not having to go through it 12 times and being like, oh my gosh, there's still knots in it. Tip number seven, trim your ends regularly. You don't need to trim off a bunch of stuff, but what I like to do is I just go through, and I know this takes a lot of time, but if you want the extra length, that's what you gotta do, because there's no way a hairdresser is gonna go through your whole head doing this. But I do the search and destroy method, where I just go through and I just take bits of my hair, and if I notice that there's, you know, a fairy knot or split end, I just go ahead and snip it off with shears. And I do this about, I'd say every three to four months. Tip number seven, eat a balanced diet. Make sure you're getting enough protein, veggies, and water. Essential for your skin, your nails, your hair, everything, because your body is like 70% water, 80% water, whatever it is. Personally, I'm vegan. I have been vegan for about four years now. And I did notice that when I went vegan, I had a lot better hair growth. And I don't know if that's because I was retaining more of it, but I definitely noticed more hair growth, like faster hair growth. So that is all I have for you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it gives you, you know, some substance and helps you on your hair journey. I know for me, when I was first starting my hair journey, it felt like I was never going to get here. And I'm just here to tell you, living proof, you can get here. It takes a lot of um, dedication, but you're definitely able. You can do it and I am standing behind you 100%. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and thank you for watching my video. I'll see you in the next one.